Hi, this is Sean Higgins here again. Thank you so much. I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to talk about the difference between tax liens and tax deeds, the battle of the unbelievable investments, if you will. First of all, gratitude. I really appreciate everybody tuning in, subscribing, doing all the things you need to do. Got a special little bonus for y'all um, at the very end. So y'all, I guess I've been in Texas a little too much, but that's all right. I love you Texans. So um, I'm going to give you a little bonus here at the end. So stick around to that very end. Um, and I'll, I'll share that with you. You know, first of all, let's talk about, so I, I need you to understand the difference between a tax lien and a tax deed. In all reality, they're the same thing. Okay. Now, what does that mean, Sean? Well, so you can never get a property if it hasn't been delinquent for four or more years. Okay. What? 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 Yeah. So what happens is about half of the states offer tax lien certificates, which is an interest rate anywhere from 10% on the low side up to 50% on the high side in some cases. Well, you're getting it at the very beginning of the process. They've been late one year, it goes to auction, but nobody's taking anybody's property. Okay, it's only towards the end, one year, two year, three year, four years, hey, enough's enough. And then some states say, we'll wait that four years and then offer the deed for sale. So that's where you and I walk in, we put up the money and boom, we have instant access to the property in most cases. Now I am blanket. These are broad brush strokes here. Okay. There are over 5,000 taxing jurisdictions out there. You know, there's not 5,000 counties, there's a little over 3,000, but there's some states do it a little differently. So I'm giving you, cause I get these people that say, oh, but you can't do that in our state. That's not true. Every state in the United States, including Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Islands and Guam for that matter, have some form of tax liens or tax deed. So what's the difference? If I just want the interest rate and want to get redeemed, there's a certain way to go about buying tax lien certificates that you're assured you're buying a tax lien and getting redeemed. Ah, Sean, I want to get the property. I want to own it free and clear for back tax. Then that's the tax deed side of it. So in all reality, that's the difference between the two. Now, what makes the safety so involved here is, is the county. The county is the one that's issuing the lien or the deed. They supersede everything. Now, I've done some other videos on that. If you want to click on some of the links there, I'll link to those in there. But what makes it so powerful is think about this. The county controls title on a property. They don't care who you are, including the IRS including the bank. If somebody doesn't pay us our property taxes, we're gonna foreclose and extinguish everybody to ensure we keep getting paid. Even if I buy the lien from the county, I'm just basically taking their position with all authority that they have. I'm hoping that clears up a lot of stuff for you on this. Now, what's my bonus? Cool, cool, cool. First of all, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Um, I've got live conferences coming up. Okay, I'm doing, I get 16, I think, before the end of the year. If you want to go to one of those, okay, I've got up on Sean 360. You go there, I've got the link right inside there. Click, I do believe um, uh, Los Angeles area is where we're gonna be at right now. Click on that. You can get really in-depth, face-to-face, eye-to-eye on how this stuff works in so much detail there. So there's your little bonus. Um, you guys have been great. I'm hoping that was helpful. Peace out. God bless.